Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react and this is a little bit of a live stream that was filmed I think somewhat sometime later. Um, she's now on the end of what I can only term as a layman a binge. Um, I'm not a psychiatrist, psychologist, I haven't got any um, expertise in eating disorders but as a lay person from what I can tell, this is the downward slope from a binge manic moment. Um, she's been stuffing her face with all and sundry. You, you know, if you want to go and see the video still on the channel, the, the amount of food this woman eats is incredible. Um, like I've said before, I'm a plumptious woman myself and I can eat but this woman just would, well, she'd leave me in the dust at an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. She was r literally ramming it in. Um, her mood goes from giggly, daft silliness um, down to maudlin, crying, almost wailing. And she's obviously uh, very emotionally mixed up and in turmoil and um, I think it it really is um, I think it is a peep into how bad her mental health her mental state is her emotional state and her physical state um, I've only got about eight minutes to react to I cut it down as much as I possibly could some of you might find it almost distressing to watch because it really is an indication of how ill this woman is mentally, physically and emotionally and I will try and be as respectful and decent and humane as I possibly can in my react. But... Um, it was an eye opener. I found it to be anyway. So let's get reacting. Here we go. Uh, I want to make goulash. Uh, uh, uh. As I said, she's been eating and eating and eating and eating. Uh, she seems to be on some sort of dessert, some sort of cookie or whatever. Her body has obviously had enough. She's as full as full can be, and she's having her stomach pains back, but still, she keeps chomping. My fucking pancreas! She looks exhausted to me. She looks like she could do with a nice hot shower, get into bed and have a good sleep. She 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 looks exhausted. Her body is knackered. You know, sleep deprivation as well as she has been gorging. That's the only word I can think of to describe what came previous to this I mean the video is still on her channel if you wanted to go and see it for yourself and she's in a state mentally and emotionally she didn't know what to do with herself and food being her comfort her crutch she has gone into it in a big way but the thing about it is you can suppress feelings and emotions and thoughts so much but eventually they do bubble up to the surface. And because they've been suppressed and not de dealt with and not processed properly, they will obviously be all the worse for not dealing with them. Um, this is total and utter 
adulting avoid avoidance. That's what I would call it. She wants to run away. She wants everything to disappear. She wants everything to go calm. She can't face what she's involved with at the moment. And she hasn't got the energy, the um, emotional or mental um, umfinner to, to deal with anything. So she just puts it away and, you know, avoids it all. Food is her comfort. And, you know, her body is arguing back at her. You know, you can only do that for so long. And she's reaching the uh, the magic number 4-0. And this is when, naturally, bodies start, you know, going a bit wrong, you know. And when you've abused your body as long and uh, as she has, obviously, you know, it's going to... It's, it's going to complain a lot more. I love you. And still she eats. I don't know how many hours she's been sat in that room of hers. But um, she's just vegetating. She's not... She doesn't want to deal with what she's got to deal with. Uh, she doesn't know how to cope. She doesn't know what to do. And so she's just comfort eating, basically. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what she's reading on her chat, but it's almost um you know when a child, a toddler, has had a temper tantrum and they've got it all out and they're then they get into that sort of chuntering stage you know when they're sort of crying but they haven't got the energy because they've you know tired themselves out and they're sleepy and the initial anger and upset and temper has subsided but they've got that whiny whingy stage that is what this is you know except it's a 37 year old woman and not you know, an 18 month year old. I'm really going now now. She has stuffed her face to the tune of thousands and thousands of calories. Her body can't possibly take any more food going into it, and yet she continues shoving cookies or I think it's cookie in her mouth it's it's almost like a robotic thing you know like um, sucking on a dummy I think kids sometimes it's so they're so used to doing it I for comfort them. they don't know they're doing it I don't know and She's having trouble getting that food down. She's having trouble swallowing it. She's sat there falling asleep trying to answer questions on her chat. Of all the videos I've ever watched of Chantal's, I think this is possibly the most disturbing and the saddest. It's like we're catching her in her natural state and habitat 
And it's almost as if we're spying on her and she doesn't know we're watching her. And I wonder, sat here watching her, did she watch this back when she put it up on her channel? I think lives, live streams go automatic. Do you think she looked at this? And if she did, she must, she must be content to have it remain up because it's still there. How can you be content to have this exhibition on your channel? I'd be mortified. I hate my life right now. There's only one answer to that, my dear, and that is to stop doing this. I'm super depressed. I know. This is all I do all day long. <laughs> Fuck. I need to put my big girl panties on mine and try to get over it. I know. Mm hmm. You do. No, not your business. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go watch TV. I'm, I'm junk all over. Should I let my hair grow? No, all the eating is not helping me one bit. Uh, uh. Thank you, Bob and Linda. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Excuse me. <laughs> I think it's like pretty soon, Jen. I'm so sorry, Annie. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Good lord. Sorry. I just had a big Pepsi. I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> And so am I. So sorry for you. <laughs> Give you whip Alright, it smells like farts in here, so I'm gonna go now. Oh, guys, I'm so upset. Do you wanna go to New York City? How about we go to New York City? We should get some rest. You're looking, mm -hmm. looking real pale. And use your CPAP, please. My car smells like McDonald's cheeseburgers right now. Because I went for a long time. And I enjoy farting and burping it for I'm going to go watch videos about New York City. She's obviously taken something um, as, you know, we, some sort. She smoked weed or she's took some edibles on top of everything else she's done. It's not that far. And after the 28th of February, I'm able to go across the border with the Kia. <laughs> I haven't even, even fit a bottle this size in the fucking fridge. Whatever. Bye. Good lord. <laughs> what? Me. 
Anyway, I'm going to go to bed soon. I'm going to go watch the rest of my show. <laughs> I think it's best. Best place no, for you. No, I'm actually you. not really that high. No, I'm not. I'm, uh... But she's high enough to not be in control of herself and to allow herself to humiliate herself on such a grand scale. She's as high as a kite. I don't know. Delirious. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> shirt. I like those strip lights. They're pretty cool, eh? <clears throat> and then outer space. <sighs> Water fiction. Alex. What kind of very important pieces? Ready, set, beat, wheeze. I forgot I have bagels. I'm going to come back if I have a, like, 3 a.m. snack. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think she is. I don't think she is. <laughs> you just make a TikTok of the LED lights. Is that what they are? Well, they're pretty cool. It's like light stickers. Fucking cool. I'm just so fat right now. <laughs> I'm not surprised you do the amount of food you've eaten. We come the amateur dramatics again. Where to go? Leave my chair alone! <laughs> Weirdos. I'm going to be getting my nose pierced next week, I think. <sighs> Alright, guys. Good night. I've been live all day. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. And that was that. Now, do you see what I mean? That was probably, as I said before, the saddest piece of film that I have ever seen of hers. She smokes weed and she takes edibles to block out the world, to block out how she feels, what's going through her head, what's happening at the time. She smokes and takes edibles into oblivion. And she also does that with food. She just packs it in until literally her body can't take any more because she wants to go into oblivion. It's like you br her brain is um, stoned f from the drugs and it's like her body is also stoned from the food it's to make it all completely and utterly numb so that she can run away and hide and it's it's awful to see it's awful to see somebody in that state I could never have poked fun or tried to be comical with that clip I, it's so pitiable so sad so horrendous and that's how she lives all the time and it is worrying that um, something could happen to her because as much as I dislike her I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to her. I don't want anything bad to happen to anyone. But that is one very sick lady. Mentally, physically, 
and emotionally. And if she doesn't sort herself out, I can't see her reaching 40. I really can't. Hopefully, we'll have a few more laughs in the next video. But um, take care of yourselves. I love you loads, you know. I really do. Speak to you later. Bye.